Hello and welcome guys to Tech Entertaining channel. My name is Ram and today I am here with a new playlist that is Reinforcement Learning. So here we will be learning a each and every concept that we have in you know uh, RL and as well as for every concept uh, there will be you know coding session in which it will help you understand thoroughly. So let's get started. Okay. So you may be familiar with this sheet also like uh, I have al already explained what is uh, different type of machine learning so since it, it is a new playlist I will be explaining this again okay so so basically uh, in machine learning we have you know different type of learnings as you can see one is supervised learning one is unsupervised learning then the third one is reinforcement learning so what are all these so basically supervised learning what happens the algorithm is given label data which means the data is already classified or labeled with you know correct output okay so the algorithm then you know learn to make prediction by mapping uh, input features to the correct output so it's it's like a teacher supervising a student the learning process giving the correct answer and the feedback to the you know students response so the algo uh, so in this the algorithm tries to learn pattern and the relationship in between data to basically generalize it its prediction to new unseen data which will you know we will be testing with uh, some data which is we haven't used on the training set so the example of supervised learning includes you know uh, uh, we do image classification speech recognition predicting you know uh, not predicting so classifying uh, you know different type of uh, diseases or you can say uh, you have a basket of fruits you want to classify which one is apple um, orange banana etc so these type of problem where we have already given you know the label or you can say class that type of learning is called supervised learning because we have all the you know correct predictions now second one is unsupervised learning okay so basically in this learning uh, the algorithm is given unlabeled data which means there is no correct output or classification for the data so the algorithm tries to find uh, you know pattern and relationship in the data on its own without any guidance so there is no teacher now okay so it's like a student trying to discover pattern in a data set without a teacher help so how it performs so basically the algorithm group similar data point together based on their feature or you can say uh, identifying underlying structure or you can say other type of relationship so that way uh, you know unsupervised learning performs so the example of unsupervised learning will be like clustering algorithm so suppose you want to see what are the different reason uh, people you know eat uh, you know chocolates okay so you want so, so suppose you you came up with a product uh, with a chocolate product and you want to you know see you know what is the demographics of you know existing chocolate people are eating so that time what you will do you will use cluster you know clustering technique to see uh, which cluster you know eat uh, different type of chocolate based on you know what all category have decided like that so th this is just an example now another example will be you know dimensionality redu reduction so what happens when you know you have a lot of data uh, so you know the machine learning hate complexity so the more complexity you add to you uh, to your model it will perform you know not well sometimes okay and that time what you will do suppose you have 100 feature you want to reduce it to 40 to 50 like that okay so that time uh, we use unsupervised learning to you know reduce the number of feature i have to only take those feature which uh, basically uh, you know contributing towards you know predicting something xyz like that so we d we do it you know by using variability so we'll talk about that later another one is anomaly detection so you are you know working with you know sensory data that time some failure has happened now you want to detect what has gone wrong so that time you will use you know different type of anomaly detection technique and uh, those are examples of 
unsupervised learning now let's come to reinforcement learning that is a uh, our main topic so yeah so in in reinforcement learning so what basically happens is the algorithm uh, learn by interacting with an environment okay so getting feedback in the form of reward or you know punishment based on its action so the algorithm the, uh, in this the algorithm tries to you know maximize its cumulative reward by learning the best action to take in different situation so for example it's like a student playing a game and receiving a score based on their moves so the algorithm tries to learn the best move to get the highest score another example would be like you are playing game robotics and you know doing a recommendation system so so suppose you have recommended any product to a customer uh your end goal will be you know whether the customer is buying that particular product or not if it is buying then you are earning a reward if it is not buying obviously your recommendation is not great you know great like that so so basically i mean reinforcement learning you know categorize with you know different you know entity in the architecture so so b- so let me tell you all of them uh, those so before that let me clear with a you know good example so uh, so reinforcement learning is a, uh, you know it, it, it's a type of machine learning in which an, uh, you know there is an agent that learn to behave uh, uh, in an environment by performing action and you know receiving reward or penalty so let's take an example when you know a baby you know learn to walk by taking step and getting feedback from their environment so to summarize uh, agent observe the environment and then take an action which he thinks is good okay after taking the action the environment tell him or her how good that action was in the form of reward okay so this also like present a new observation to the agent so in the beginning what happens a baby does not know how to walk right and take random action such as crawling or standing up li- right so however when a baby takes a step and moves forward they receive a reward in the form of you know positive feedback from their parents so this encourages the baby to take more step and eventually learn to walk right so similarly reinforcement learning like that only an agent take random action in an you know environment and receive a reward or penalty based on its performance so if the agent take an action that lead to you know positive outcome it receive a reward and learn to take the similar action in the future in better way on the other hand if the agent take an action that lead to negative outcome it receive a penalty and learn to avoid similar action in the future so over time this particular you know agent learn to behave in the environment by maximizing uh, its reward and minimizing its you know penalties so this is this is how similar to you know baby learn to walk by taking step and getting you know feedback from the environment okay so this is what reinforcement learning now in the next video we will be learning about objective what are the objective of reinforcement learning